Okay, so um, just a reminder. I have a website and I've been posting every day some uh, thoughts about each of the problems for that day. For example, yesterday I posted uh, about hydrothermal venture. Um, other things of note, because I got annoyed, I, I implemented a integer points between function which takes a start and end and gives all of the points in between that are integer values. Um, it uses fractions and, and such. It's pretty fancy. Um, and it handles vertical and horizontal lines correctly. This should hopefully help um, with just dealing dealing with uh, integer points between two points uh, in the future. Um, I know there was like the tree problem last year might have helped um, on that one as well. Um, so um, who knows, maybe I'll never use it again, but at least it was kind of fun to implement. And uh, I simplified my code significantly for part f uh, for day five. Um, I can just show you uh, basically part one and part two are almost exactly the same, except for this um, filters out non-diagonals and it uses int, point, int points between and then down here it uses int points between as well. Um, so it's pretty pretty nice actually. Okay, so um, let me get my get input six ready. I actually did six x earlier, so I'm gonna not do that. We're a minute and ten out. As far as the leaderboard goes, um, I hopped up to second um, behind Kelly and Colin, but it's a pretty wide gap. But my hope is that I can really do this quickly tonight. Um, I'm going to focus on part two, getting that delta time down, because that's what's really killing me. So 35 seconds out. Again, I'm probably not going to explain too much. Um, I got work tomorrow. Um, but I will update the blog. That's a little bit less time consuming because I can do that while I'm editing this video. Here we go. Day six of Advent of Code. 2021. Problem, get the input, find the test. I think that's the test. Okay. Yeah, so it's just a sequence. Okay, um, oh shoot. That's a little bit costly. Okay, so every seven days. Three after day. Okay, so it's like a time step to six, not seven. After 80 days, okay, so eighty days.
append six. Append Nice. Oh, shoot. I pressed the wrong thing. Two hundred fifty six. Okay, so this is probably not going to work, but let's just copy it down, take a look at it, and think about it a little bit. Um, So that's part one. Where's my expected? I need to add a guide there. Um, okay, so what can I do to make this efficient? Oh, I can count how many are at each state. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the new algorithm. Seek equals, so I start with the same sequence, but then I do um, n equals dictionary of, um, Okay, 432, um, and then what we do is we do n at x plus equals 1, two threes, four ones, okay, so then for range in here, instead of doing this, what we're going to do is um, and then and n. So then, k v k if k equals zero, then and then equals and then at k eight plus equals one and then at six plus equals one no equals v and then and then oh let me grab the expected value which is a whole heck of a lot. Um, K minus one. S N equals NN. Len sum N dot values. Yes! That was a really good day. Okay, let's see. Nice! Nice! That's what I'm talking about. 2-1? I didn't get first on part one, but hey, I am happy about that uh, part two score. That worked out really, really nicely. Now I'm just rooting on a couple people to beat Colin. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so let's uh, let's save this down in the expected. And um, 
I'm going to I'm going to attribute this one to the bomber peaking this today. Had a little bit of gin and tonic before I started while I was watching Star Wars with my roommates. So we're going to go with that, even though it's probably totally not the case. There. And where's the expected for part one? There it is. Okay. Nice, nice. Now, I, I'm really glad that I took a step back, thought about it, because that that got me the that got me the the win on that. Um, okay, so this is some ugly ugly code. Um, so let's clean it up. Um, this was actually pretty good. What could I have done faster on this one? I guess just reading comprehension. I I'm okay, honestly, with the a little bit slower on part one. Um, because, you know, yeah. I think that's all right. Um, it made sure that I was doing it correctly. Okay, so first thing is first, we're splitting on commas. Maybe I should add to my template a different split function that is like split on commas as well. Just in case that ever comes up again. Okay, um, so really the code for part one and part two is actually the same. I'm gonna extract it out to, the fun to a function and um, uh, I'll just use it for part one and part two. Actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and commit. I didn't quite leaderboard, but uh, that was both of them were what top? Uh, uh, top 200 so yeah definitely happy about that let's actually update the readme as well with those results okay so um Cool. Yeah, so the, the algorithm is really the same for both parts. This one's just a more efficient version. I, I looked at 80 and thought ah, that should be fast enough, and it was, so good thinking on that part. But um, what are we even counting? Calculate lanternfish. Yeah, and I mean, I should have, and I mean, just looking at this number, um, nobody's going to be storing an array of that size in memory. <laughs> That's huge. I mean, I guess you could, but um, it would be very, 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 very slow. So, um, it's a list of integers, and then... I don't think there's a better way of doing that. That's fine. Start sequence and iterations as an int. So, um, so n and then new land number of lantern fish. So basically if k is zero, then it means that they reproduce. Uh, a new lantern fish goes to eight and uh, it goes back to six. And, and then once it gets down to zero again, then it'll um, reproduce again. And then new lantern fish, um, new number of lantern fish, I just do k minus one if it's not zero. So just keep going down, down, down. Um, and what the default dictionary does is it stores um, them aggregated. There's only 
eight val nine values, zero through eight that any uh, lanternfish can be at. So we just store the number that are at that current value. So that's what I'm doing with the default dictionary with the plus equals one. Uh, welcome whoever's viewing. Thank you for thank you for hopping in, Joey Kins, Joe, or however you say that. Um, I'm just recreating the dic uh, dictionary every single time. It's totally efficient because it's like eight elements at most, so it's totally fine. So now I can just use um, return calculate lanternfish sequence 80. Yep. And let's just make it a one liner because we're cool like that. And then down here, same one liner except for 256. And get rid of all that. And the nice thing about Python is that it is arbitrarily sized integers, so don't have to worry about anything there. Um, let's see. I guess now I just need to delete a bunch of stuff from up here that I didn't use at all. Um, Infer, grid adjacencies, Dijkstra. Yeah, so today was a little bit shorter than the previous ones, which was what I expected because it's a Sunday. And he generally makes them a little bit easier on week weeknights. Um, so, oh, right, generator. Um, uh, template pi. C, D, F, G. Yeah, so I added generator to my, that's, that, that cost me a couple seconds having to fix that import. So, um, that'll, that'll solve it in the future. Make sure it's in my template. Ooh. Wow. Hi, Joshua. Welcome in chat. I, uh, what'd I do? 122, 175. That, that's a rough one. I was happy that I took a, uh, your advice and did the slow is smooth, smooth is fast for part two because I, I sort of immediately saw the optimization. Okay, um, let's see if anybody else has solved. Colin, Ryan, Sam. Okay, so did, so did Colin get second? I'm trying to figure out. Sixth? Wait, who else solved? So Kelly hasn't solved yet, that's surprising. Maybe he hasn't seen the optimization. Um, so Ryan got second. Okay, so I got a point on call, a couple points on Colin today. 81 to 85, so four points. <laughs> Colin is uh, complaining about default dicks. Um, yeah, I saw it immediately and just used those. It, it's so much more efficient to use that. Uh, at least, well, not efficient time-wise probably, but it is much more efficient um, um, brain-wise, which is what matters. So yeah, good job, Ryan, on getting second place on part two. Um, and Sam got third, Dylan on four, Colin on part, uh, uh, oh, oh, Fisher fifth, sixth went to Colin. So yeah, like, uh, we're, we're adding some more people to the, um, to the, to the list here. Um, let's refresh this just to see. 
So the question will be is if Kelly manages to solve soon, he'll be okay. He'll probably jump me again back up to second. But if he doesn't, and there's quite a few people who are solving part two, hopefully hopefully there's a couple people to, to get in there. Um, but for now, second place, happy about that. Um, Oh yes, I need to actually press my YubiKey. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I think that went well. The getting the input and seeing that what it was immediately helped. Um, having that sequence helped. Um, have a good one, Joshua. Thank you for hopping into chat. Um, I think I did. I did. I read the. Did I read the problem? I can't even remember. Like, what did I what did I read in the problem that really tipped me off? It was really helpful. Um, oh, I read that. That was that, this was the real key. Let me copy this into my calculate lantern fish function here. Okay, yeah, so we just aggregated them all together. H A all in at what are these even called? And a new and starts a, a new at eight to the end of the list, uh, while each other number decreases by one. By one, if it is present, start of the day. Yeah, so that's pretty much exactly what this code is doing. at all of the and turn fish at zero to six. Cool. Um, there we go. I'll solve. Nope. Cool. Um, I think I'm going to call it there. Um, I'll be back at this again tomorrow. Um, oh, actually, let me check my other private leaderboard with my friend at work. Uh, looks like he hasn't solved. That's surprising. Normally he's doing it right now.
Um, Okay, time to call it a day and uh, I'll see you all again tomorrow at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for Advent of Code Day 7. <laughs>